Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. And in this video, I'm going to take a more in-depth look into 3D layers in After Effects. Um, it's still basic though, uh, just an easy way to create some 3D layers in After Effects and now to add a camera uh, to create some really cool new effects. So let's head on into After Effects where I created these mole molecule uh, layers, this, art this artwork, I just did this in Illustrator and I imported them as uh, just separate 2D layers. And if I select everything and I click the 3D layer icon, everything becomes 3D and we can and we get these these three axis um, points. It's my Y axis, my Z axis and my X axis. And I can move my elements on those axes. So left and right, up and down and back and forth. And if you can see, if I move it back, um, you, it disappears and that's because it moves behind this big background layer. So uh, I have this option for one view here and I have different views and I, I can select two views horizontal. So that's give me two views next to each other. So this is my active camera and this is my top view. And because everything is 3D, I can see here my, uh, this is looking straight down from the top, which are my layers. So if I move this one back in Z space, and you can see it moving behind this background layer. So we don't want that. So we're going to uncheck the 3D layer for the background layer. So that's just a 2D color background, which won't affect our uh, 3D layers. So let's lock that for now. So now if I move things uh, back, it will not pop behind that background layer. So now I can um, place these objects in the 3D space wherever I want. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to back to one view and I'm going to look at the top. So now I have all my, here I have all my layers and I'm just going to move them randomly in 3D space. So I get this little um, molecule space thingy going just to make it look cool. Okay. This one a bit to the front. Let's actually put this way in the front so you can see the, the difference. Let's put some way in the back. Maybe this as well. Yeah. Okay. And if I go back to my active camera, you can already see that some the, 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 the composition has changed because some of them are now bigger or smaller because I pull them closer to our camera. We do have a camera, yeah, it's kind of a just my viewfinder in After Effects is my camera, but I can add an actual camera. Uh, so go to layer, new and camera, and then you can see things start to change. Oh, first off, we have the camera settings. So let's leave it at a 35 millimeters, that's fine. And just see, just check enable depth of field, which is important. Okay, and then you can see things start to change. So, and if I go back to my top view, I can see my camera in here. Uh, I actually want two views so I can see what's going on. And I want uh, here, let's go to the active camera and here I have my top view. Yeah, great. So uh, let's just f make this fit. Uh, okay, and make this zoom, zoom in a bit. So if I can uh, open my camera settings and I can have all these different options. Um, so I have my position. So just that actually moves the camera back and forth. And if I do that, you can, so I can move the camera in Z space, just like I did with these object objects. And if I do that, you can see things start to change here because some are closer to the camera and some are further back. Uh, so you can already see this 3D effect where the camera is moving through this area with all these different molecule layers uh, hanging in there, uh, which is really cool. Let's move it back a bit. A bit. And um, then I also have, I can also move my camera uh, up and down. You can see it kind of 3D here. It moves, it, it looks up and down. The camera uh, itself doesn't move. It just looks up and down. And then the position, let's turn it to the right, but it keeps looking at this middle point. So 
let's just reset that you know, like this. Okay, and then I can also, I also have my camera options here. So the depth of field was on, and I could check that off. Let's leave it on for now. And we can change our depth of field uh, settings with the focus distance, aperture, and blur level. So the focus distance is this little line here, and that's the, the point which is in focus. So every object that is close to this line will be more in focus. So if I turn if I turn it way down and I'm looking for this one, it's this one right here, and I'm going to put the focus, uh, focus distance uh, bar right on that object. So that object will be um, sharp because that's really close to this line. And the, the other objects are a, a bit blurry, not that much because our aperture and our blur level aren't that high. So let's uh, turn our blur level up a bit so we have more blur and there we can already see start or already start seeing those things get blurry and uh, we can also play with our aperture which creates a more dramatic effect as well and if I now change my focus distance so this bar moves closer to other objects so let's for say let's say this one let's move it back in frame it's a bit blurry now but if I move my focus distance so this bar gets closer to this one then that one gets more sharp and this gets a bit blurry because my focus distance is changing. So uh, sometimes when you, I don't, if you ever film with a camera and you're uh, turning on your focus ring, um, different objects become in focus, things that are closer by or further away. And this, this is the exact same thing. Um, but I can also do that with uh, moving my camera inward. So if I move my camera outward to the back, then also this line, uh, becomes more focused to this one, so that will be a focus more now. Um, and that's basically all the uh, basic settings you need to create cool 3D effects. Uh, and you can just move this camera through your 3D space. Let's go back to one view again, and I want to see my active camera. And let's go to fit. And what I can do now is I can change the camera settings with the camera tool it's right right here you can use that uh, you can select it with the letter c on your keyboard so if i press c i can toggle through these camera views so this is the orbit tool and this means i can orbit the camera around my 3d space uh, which looks really cool and press c again and i go to the track camera tool which actually moves the camera and then i can also with again c yeah, not actually zoom in, but I'm putting the camera closer or further back in the in Z, uh, Z space. So I can animate this, of course. If I open my camera settings and I go to my position and, and I go to number six, uh, six seconds or something, and I go to orbit around like that, and then you can see that my camera moves through that 3D space, nice. Uh, I can also maybe um, uh, move it a bit and zoom um, zoom it in as well, which create this creates this cool effect. So now all these layers are not animated, of course. So it kind of looks a bit boring. But I can animate all these layers and then add a camera and then move through uh, through this space with animated layers, which makes it look really cool. And I can still, if I just um, want to add, if I want to change something, I can just make sure you, you select the X, Y or Z. If I want to move this further to the front, the, uh, the arrow turns into a little Z and I click it and drag and then move it to the front. So when you can see the blurriness starts to uh, uh, change so now here it's blurry and if I go to my camera options and I turn off depth of field then everything becomes uh, sharp again and uh, let's say I want this to go here and here a bit okay so now that that uh, space is filled up and I can animate these elements of course if I open this one and I go to the transform and if I move this and I look here, I can see the position uh, start to move. So if I position right here 
and then I go I go here and then I move the position to the right then this thing animates as well while the camera is moving which is going way too fast but you get the idea now you can animate everything and for example in this scene I would say maybe everything wiggles a bit or something and there are some things flowing through this molecule world and the camera moves through them um, so you could create a lot of cool effects um, keep in mind that these layers are 3d layers not 3d objects so if I go to my orbit tool here and if I orbit around and you can see that these layers are indeed just flat layers they are flat 2d layers and the back and the front is just the same um, so they aren't they aren't 3d shapes they're just 3d layers so they can behave in a 3d way so you can move your camera around them but you can just see them as little pieces of paper or something floating around if you actually actually want 3d um, cool 3d shapes you have to do that in cinema 4d or something like that um, yeah cool so that's the basic idea of 3d layers in after effects and you can see here if i delete this and i go to position and animate this and this one is really close by we get this really cool parallax effect as well and if i turn on my uh, focus distance again this one is really blurry and i can just uh, change my focus distance a whole lot so and i can just put the blur level down so it's not too blurry and you could create these different effects so um cool that's it thanks for watching and i hope you learned something from this if you haven't seen my previous video where i talk about the really basic idea of the 3d layer uh check that out first um maybe i should have mentioned that before what you before you watch this video all right um cool uh thanks for watching anyway and i hope to see you on the next one Okay, bye-bye.